the world premiere of the new Rush album, Moving Pictures, due in the stores tomorrow. And uh, Getty's sucking on a cigarette and sucking back hey, some Don Perignon in there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we all know you rock singers suck them right back. That's how you get that well, rasp. Bad boy. That's how you get that that rasp in the Leave voice. That, that rough. That rough. Has yeah, your voice yeah. been changing over the last few albums? Well, I'm getting older, aren't I? Yeah. It's supposed to change. Yes. Yes. Yeah, kind of so late in coming, though, isn't it? Well, you know. <laughs> us rock singers live forever, Reach. Don't you know that? And. <laughs> okay. I don't uh, know where we that talking one came about from. Here. We were talking about we were talking about the new album. And we are going to move on to uh, track two on side one, which is a nifty little story mm -hmm. about a nifty little sports car. Yes. The tune is called Red Barchetta. Barchetta? Is that that's how it's Bar pronounced officially? Yep. Is there such a thing as a Barchetta? Oh, yeah. Yes. It was made in the uh, late 40s, early 50s. I think 1950, 49. And, uh, so it's already an extinct sort of car. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a gem. Mm hmm and the story is really inspired from a story that uh, Neil read in Road and Track a few years ago that uh, sort of dealt with a uh, Orwellian type of situation where driving was prohibited at high speeds in, in certain kinds of cars. And uh, he sort of took that idea and put it into his own story about uh, a guy who, uh, whose uncle has preserved this barchetta for years and years and years and years in this uh, country farm where he lives. And it's very much a, <clears throat> you know, big brother type of uh, society and very well patrolled by police and stuff. And this guy sneaks out to the country every Sunday and he takes this car for an incredibly exciting, sensuous ride through the country. <laughs> and uh, on this particular journey, he gets spied by a couple of air cars, which are the police, and they chase him down. Air cars, mm -hmm. which would be little hover mobiles. Gleaming alloy air cars. Mm-hmm. Has has Neil ever been behind the wheel of a barchetta? I don't think he Actually, has. Actually, no. no it's it. just it's it's purely fantasy, purely mm -hmm. fantasizing well, it, about. I mean, it, it yeah. grows out of his his intense love for uh, driving top down at fast speeds. Like he's a car collector himself. Right. He's right into the car as. Uh, so it's got kind a of a combination of that, and in a way the. The twenty one twelve theme, actually. Yeah, it, it's you know when you talk about a car, you're talking about something that relates to everybody as as sort of a vehicle that gives them excitement and also sort of takes you and infers freedom. You know, mm -hmm. you get behind the wheel and you go. It's a it's a great vehicle, sort of the Four double on time there. Three. Eh? Yeah, hey, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. it's an exciting story and. Uh, we put a lot of music to it. And this Very is straightforward song. little tune. Just mm -hmm. listen to the lyrics closely. And you'll hear what the story's all about. Red Barchetta. Here's Rush from Moving Pictures again. The world premiere on Chum FM. <laughs> 